here today with numerous people from all over the world to remember Tom. Knowing that there's even more people in almost every continent that are not here today. For me it's soothing. Uh, for me it's a soothing thought that she has left her imprint on so many people who will not forget this strong special girl. When I first met Tal years ago, I just thought Wow, she has a lot of character. <laughs> Who is this tiny tough girl with a big mouth? <laughs> and also very big shoes, by the way. <laughs> but somehow she managed very quickly to find a way to our hearts. And so we asked her to move in with us at the Middle East. I'm happy that she did, because once I got to know Tal better, I realized how this restless girl was always looking for new experiences, how she was always looking to learn something new, how she managed to connect with people from all different kinds of scenes. Tal had a very strong inner drive to develop herself and was open to anything that was new to her. It's something that I will keep with me forever, a reminder and an inspiration to never stop improving myself. During this week, during the week I was in Tel Aviv in September last year. We talked about her always trying to be at every event, always starting up something new. And she said she doubted whether it was a good characteristic and if it didn't distract her from maybe other important stuff. But it is this searching for new experiences and new inputs that made her the person who she was. And every time she found something new and interesting, she took it in, her, in it like a sponge. When I saw Tal last, there was still hope. At least, that's what she made us feel. And though it was difficult to see her and to hear about all the pain she had gone through, I was impressed by her strong will and how she somehow seemed to be closer to her inner self, to the Tal she wanted to be. All the hardships she had went through seemed to have peeled up certain layers of protection and I saw it all closer than ever to her inner feelings. She had gone through a process where all of the smaller distractions seemed to have fallen away and left her closer to her truth. When I left, she said, when are you coming back? And it struck me straight in the heart. It was then when I realized um, more than ever, how much I cared for her and how much I had come to appreciate her during all these years we had lived together. The imprint she has left in our hearts remains and will inspire us to keep on learning from life and keep on searching for new experience. I think we were all very fortunate to know her and to call her our friend.